Only on four, violence on the other side of the Brownsville border has led to State Department warnings this year. And now the U.S. consulate is being built in Matamoros that will meet department security and life safety standards. I spoke to state leaders about the new facility. Consular functions, Marine Security Guard residents, and support buildings will be part of a new U.S. consulate building in Matamoros. Our job is to help foster trade and economics and friendship between the United States and Mexico. The U.S. consulate claims the new facility will strengthen the relationship between Mexico and the U.S. We're right here at the border. This is a great post. And anything that we can do to further cement and further explore the relationship between our two great nations is, is a, ch a check for us. The new U.S. Consulate General will be located on a 7.7-acre site in the Jardin neighborhood of Matamoros. The U.S. State Department has warned consulate staff to stay indoors as a safety precaution, prompting the U.S. Consulate General in Matamoros to tighten up security measures. In these photos, you can see concrete barricades put up outside of the existing U.S. Consulate building, with Mexican federal troops patrolling the surrounding area. The consulate has yet to release information as to why they were placed. This year alone, the city of Matamoros experienced several violent incidents forcing state leaders to step in. In June, a letter by U.S. representatives Filimon Vela and Jason Chaffetz was sent to Secretary of State John Kerry, sharing information about lack of security in Mexico. A delegation of congressional staff members visited the U.S. consulates in Matamoros and Nuevo Laredo and returned claiming a deteriorated security situation in and around some of the cities where U.S. consulates are based. The letter stated in February the U.S. consulate in Matamoros reported 227 separate security incidents in the U.S. border region, including a carjacking at a supermarket frequented by consulate employees. We have quite a number of people that uh, work in consulates around the world, quite a number of people that work uh, in the consulate in Matamoros and are uh, number one priority above all else has to make sure that our citizens that are working and putting their lives in danger are safe. U.S. Representative Filimon Vela says the State Department is trying to construct buildings that are safer for employees working abroad. Read the State Department's warnings uh, across Mexico and in particular in the state of Tamaulipas. Um, you know, there are, there are, some, there are clearly some security concerns. But the new U.S. consulate comes at a big price, at about $190 million, according to Representative Vela. Vela says construction will begin in 2016, and they are aiming for it to be completed by 2019. Now, three new U.S. diplomatic facilities have been recently been built in Tijuana, Monterrey, and Ciudad Juarez.